Hello everybody. It is 7.30 in the a.m. on, shit, you know what, some date, probably the 10th of January and the year of our Lord, 20 and 24. I didn't realize this until I started walking outside, but I am intoxicated. I am still drunk. I've been drinking all night and um, waited until uh, typical shit. I had a impromptu production meeting with the director of the documentary, one Shaylin Marks. Just in case you guys didn't know who the fuck I was talking about. Phone call where once again, I was about to quit the fucking movie. <laughs> um, we came up with a way to do it that's completely different, much more streamlined and um, way more fucking punk rock and um, Shaylin doesn't give herself enough credit I'm gonna say right now but um, she kind of saved this whole project and I don't think she realizes she did that so I'm actually kind of excited right now about this project for the first time in maybe for the first time like I'm really kind of excited about this so with that said on a side note whenever i am up drinking past the time the sun rises i realize that maggie's is open and i realize i could get a really fresh fucking breakfast burrito and a really fresh apple fritter and actually a really fresh cup of hazelnut coffee and I get all excited and um, I try to sober up enough to walk down the street to Maggie's. Then I buy breakfast and then I eat breakfast and watch videos on YouTube until I finish my coffee and then go, hey, I'm gonna go get a good night's sleep now and then sleep until one or two. And so that's what's gonna happen right now. And all these people are like, running around trying to get to work on time and I feel kind of like an ass because I'm drunk and the sun's out and I'm just wanting to get breakfast so I can go to sleep. I'm half asleep. I already started recording this video and didn't hit record. Burrito. Apple fritter already took a bite out of. <laughs> Coffee. I even got a sandwich for later because knowing how I am right now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull around by noon or one or whatever fucking time it's going to be. Let's see how they did. Chef's kiss, dude. The girl that works at Maggie's, you're amazing. Had to get sauces, guys. Oh, this is so stupid. The things I do. Let's get some hot sauce in there fire sauce. I need to go to Del Taco because I haven't had Del Scorcho in a bit. I've been using this shitty fucking Taco Bell sauce.
anyway, Maggie, you did it again. Thank you. Hello everybody, um, what we are doing today is I need to move my car for three hours, so we're going to do all of the stuff that I need to do today. Today is actually a ridiculously busy day because I have to plan a lot of things and set up a lot of appointments um, to be able to get the fuck out of here. So today is the first day of the rest of my life, as they say. Um, but another thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going through this book, this workbook, um, the didactical, or no, dialectical, whatever, behavior therapy skills workbook, um, with my therapist, and it finally got here. And so I'm going to be working on that in a little bit too. So I might be crying or something while we're driving around. But I can't work on it while I'm driving. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get some breakfast. And then we will stop somewhere and do that. Yes. I just don't know where I'm going to go yet. Oh, you know what though? I left my Altoids in the car. Yay. And there's a lighter in here. No cigarettes, though. Which is crazy. I, like, didn't smoke yesterday. It was just vaping. And then, like, really late at night, I got pissed off. And um, I'm like, I should have a cigarette. And I, like, didn't even want one. But I went and bought one, or bought a pack. Okay, I gotta do this fasting. There we go. So I went and bought a pack. That's not flat, is it? No, it's okay. It's the only like my tire was flat. Alright. So I went and got the stuff. I went and got a pack of cigarettes. And um smoked them. Stayed up all night. <laughs> smoking cigarettes, even though I'm like, oh, I don't need cigarettes. I'm doing fine. I'm doing a lot better with the vape, so I'm hoping that's the case here. I wish I could put you up here so you can see what's going on, because I don't know how many more LA vlogs I'm going to do. I think I can turn down the street. Yeah, I do have to cross this street to get to Jack in the Box. I think I'm going to Jack in the Box because they're selling breakfast.
even though um, they'll probably make me sick. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, so I'm trying to get as much stuff for you guys. And there's that scary church from this angle. Oh, that's some cool stickers on that side. I uh, was showing my art to some people um, over the last few days. And it was so funny. Like, this one woman was like, oh my god, this is amazing. I freaking love it. It's so violent. Um, I need a piece. I need an original. And all this stuff. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I'll set that up. You know, let's get one. Pick the one you want, and we'll do it. And then this other woman comes and looks at it, and she's like, did a child make these? And I'm like, what? I'm like, this is my paintings and shit. And she's like, oh, yeah, it looks like a child did them. These aren't very good at all. Like, did you actually paint or is that just like a marker? Oh wait, no, I guess you did use, well, yeah, okay, yeah, these are pretty bad. These look like a kid did them. <laughs> and I'm just like, okay, calm the fuck down. Like, like, beauty's in the eye of the beholder, obviously. And that's the funny thing too. Like, beauty's in the eye of the beholder, right? We're, we're saying that right now. The um, woman who loved my paintings, I didn't think was very attractive. The woman who hated my work, I'm like, oh my God, this girl's drop dead gorgeous. Typical, typical shit, guys. Typical shit. Okay, is this Vermont? Yeah, okay. Oh, ew, Toro Taco. Let's, oh, I don't have to get behind a bus. This is where the red light comes out. Oh, I remember. I was in this place one time when I, um, this girl, uh, broke her flip-flops and I bought her a new pair of flip-flops. That was a nice thing I did. Wow. <clears throat> No, there are a lot of really beautiful people in LA, but I don't think there's enough beautiful people in LA to make someone want to stay in LA. I think if I was working here, like at an actual place, I would definitely want to be here because like... I would be getting paid very well because the cost of living here is so high that motherfuckers have to pay motherfuckers in order to keep that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So. A double bag and a star won't love a faux show. These are riches of Oh, that kid's lost his kid. Fucking car. Come on, people. Oh, and now there's signs. Come on, just show me where I could go, guys. Help me out. Help a brother out. Oh, I totally could have done that, actually. Should have just went down to six. Where are these sirens? I hear them. Oh, dude, something smells good outside. Oh, nope, they're behind us. Shit. LA's alleged finest. Wonder what they're looking for. 
something probably happened up the street. Okay, so we are minutes away from me getting my damn breakfast. Oh, they're coming the same way I'm coming. That's interesting. Hopefully they're just not trying to go really fast to get some fucking breakfast. <laughs> Shit, if I had sirens, I'd be doing it too, right? Oh, dude, chicken strips. I didn't even think about chicken strips. So another thing I'm gonna do is, um, every time I come to this Jack in the Box and I'm doing one of these videos, I tell you guys, I'm like, oh, I'm about to uh, drive on the sidewalk. Okay, cool. And the fries and stuff? The fries are in this one? Yeah, nice. Okay. Cool, thank you, man. Okay. So this is it right here. This is me driving on the sidewalk to get out of this parking lot. Oh my gosh, no one's here, so this is good. Ah, through the sign. Oh, that guy's coming. I gotta hurry up. But yeah, oh, yep, he's still coming. Okay. So yeah, so that's the sidewalk I always drive on, for fuck's sake. Um, I am in the Ralph's parking lot. I went to Jack in the Box, got some stuff, and then went to um, the smoke shop on uh, 3rd in Vermont that I like, and um, got some tubes and a pack of those cheapy cigarettes. What I want to kind of throw out right now is kind of give you an idea of what the um, publishing thing. I keep talking a little bit about it that I'm doing a new thing and um, I haven't really gotten into great detail about it. And for those of you who were like really excited about my ebook idea where I was just going to put out a book every week for a year and see if that help me break the algorithm and shit um, I stopped that because that was right around the time when everything went up in the air and like Etsy fucked up on me and a bunch of shit um, and so I kind of didn't know what I was going to do and I was afraid to put some of my books in um, what do you call it uh, KDP to where they're exclusive to Amazon. But the exclusivity on Amazon is what helps you move those books. So I've been having a hard time going back and forth trying to figure out like what I'm gonna do and what the plan's gonna be. And I think I have a good idea now. So I think what I'm gonna do is, oh my God, your hair is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Wow, that was some amazing hair. <clears throat> I think what I'm gonna do though is um, do the, I'm gonna do Amazon. Oh my God, her hair is fucking amazing. That's some nice hair, for real. I'm doing the Amazon thing I don't think I'm going to do KDP. So it's gonna kind of fuck me up a little bit, um, but it's fine. So I'm just gonna do it like that. You know what? I could do KDP. At least for the first 90 days. I just changed my whole plan just sitting here right now. Okay, so this is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna put, um, the poetry books in KDP for the first 90 days and then take them out. And then once they're out, I will also have them available um, on my uh, Shopify store thing that's gonna be on my website. So that's cool. But I also want to say, I'm gonna have a membership function on my website that gives you everything, okay? <clears throat> And I think the other thing that it's going to have, besides um, just all my books and my music and all that shit, is um, I'm going to start making 
ebooks of the um, lessons that I did in Poetic Anarchy and stuff like that. Um, so if you are a member on my site, you will get those too. Now, for those of you who are in Anarchy Crew and paying on YouTube, um, I will probably be giving you all of that same stuff as well. So there's a part of me that's trying to go, okay, so if I do stuff on my website and then do something completely different on the YouTube page, would that be enough to be able to separate the two like businesses? I think that's what I'm gonna do. The second thing is, um, as far as memberships go and things like that, I'm definitely pulling away from how I did things last year. It was kind of a lot on me. It, it took a lot out of my soul, I guess is the best way to put it. I'm trying to go through and figure out um, the best way to make um, that work. But if any of you who were in the Anarchy Crew or the Thank You Crew or Chapbook of the Month Club, um, oh, and then all the Chapbook of the Month people, you're gonna get everything too, so like, just heads up on that but if there's anything that you're like I'm not happy with how this is going and that's going um, is this going to be affected is that going to be affected if you have questions let me know um, and if you want to leave because it's going to be different than what it was originally sold to you as um, I apologize and I'd hate to see you go but I completely understand so um there's that and then coming up here really soon I have big poetic anarchy press news big poetic anarchy press news so I think you're gonna like it you might not love it but I think you're gonna like it so let's eat this extreme sausage sandwich from Jack and Yo Box. Mmm. Sausage and egg, baby. That's all I wanted. And I did that thing again, where I go there because I want this one thing, and then their signs make me order more shit. I just wanted this sandwich and some fries. And I ended up getting, well, I was going to get tacos regardless. That happens every time I go. But um, I ended up getting um, a fucking breakfast burrito and um, chicken strips. I haven't had chicken strips in fucking forever. So I'm going to go into Ralph's here buy some beer and want for later and um, then I'm gonna uh, I think go to Starbucks and work on that thing I don't eat that much anymore so Jesus that was a lot dude <sighs> Yeah, so I don't eat that much anymore, so eating something like that was kind of heavy. <sighs> Fuck's sake, dude. So let's go inside here and look at prices. box I'm gonna do a bottle kind of want to do both let's do both so here is my favorite wine 899 
Why is this sticky? I don't like that. Is there another one? This thing is sticky. I just put that in my arm. Let's get a box of that for 20. And then we're gonna need some beer, guys. You know what, fuck it, let's get a case. Yeah, $12.99 for a case. Because if they had Natty Light, I would have got that. But for some reason you can't get Natty Light in LA. It's fucking weird, I don't get it. Hang on, hang on, hang on. All right, cool. Let's see. I was gonna get food, but fuck that shit. But this is what I'm talking about. I have, oh, that's why it's so fucking hot in here. I have. I've spent over a hundred bucks. Yeah, over a hundred dollars since I left the house today. And I haven't even fucking paid for parking anywhere yet. My lifestyle is just too expensive for LA. Seriously, like, I spent 25 bucks at the smoke shop. I spent 25, 29 bucks at Jack in the Box. And I spent 50 bucks in the grocery store. It's fucking crazy. And the funny thing is, like, I drink really cheap shit. I am not bougie by any means when it comes to the alcohol that I put inside my body. And like some of you were going, yeah, but you just got groceries, you know, like that's going to cost more. Yeah, but it's not just groceries. It's like every time I fucking leave the house, I spend 80 to 100 bucks on normal shit. And right now I'm going to go to Starbucks and get a coffee so I can hang out there and use their Wi-Fi and work on my book. And um, so that's gonna be like another five bucks. And then, I don't know, hopefully I won't have to go anywhere else. But there is a salon next door and I've been hankering for a pedicure. So, I don't know, line it up. How am I gonna fuck this up today? No idea, this is Occidental, okay. When is there parking? Looks like you could park on the streets here. This is such a cute little neighborhood on this side. You cross fucking third, and this cute little neighborhood gets ugly really fast. But I love all the parking here. It's so cool. Okay, it looks like there's a spot there and a spot there, so if I can't find one up here, and a spot there, and a spot there. This is amazing. There's fucking parking spots everywhere, dude. Huh. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna come back if I can. Oh, there's a spot right there. I'll fucking take that. That's close to shit. And I just rolled through a stop sign in front of a police officer. Nice. Okay, let me see. Can I get into this parking lot? No, this 
this guy parked like a dick. That's not a parking spot. What is happening? Fucking annoying as shit. Okay, let's see. Let's find a parking spot. Wait, that is a parking spot, huh? So you want to hear the funniest shit in the world? Fucking drove all the way around LA trying to find a place to fucking park. I find a place to park, and it's street sweeping day here too. But none of the cars have moved. So. And there's a cop right there. This is that neighborhood I was talking about. So there's this um, center divider that um, is really green. And um, it just, this is a great little neighborhood. The palm trees are amazing. But these center things are getting kind of overgrown and down that way when you go over third, um, it's basically a giant homeless encampment, like just um, tent city kind of shit. So that kind of sucks. But, you know, we got another little church and stuff. Pretty cool. Um, I've noticed that the people who live in this neighborhood are a lot more um, hipster seamster more well off than the people just a block away where I live <laughs> um, like where I live it's a lot of poor working class Hispanics and here it seems like it's more professional people more um, I don't know, like housewives, like I've seen a lot of really well-dressed women with toddlers. I've seen a lot of chicks in like leggings and tube tops or sports bras getting ready to go to the gym. Um, it's just strange. It's seriously like a block from where I live and it's like a completely different group of people that live in this neighborhood. It's really weird. The hardest thing about being in this town is um, fucking just seeing all the places and walking by the places and walking into the places that me and my ex used to go to. <sighs> she was the smart one, dude. She fucking bolted and I remember her saying, she's like, I'm never coming back here again. And, um, I don't know. That was probably, like, I was offended. But I understand why. Although she did say, I'm never getting in your fucking car again. That pissed me off a little bit. But, you know, whatever. As much as I want to hate her, and as much as I want to blame her for stuff like I'm always going to care about her I'm always going to have that place in my heart for her because I'm a sap and that's what saps do I did not want to hang out in Starbucks but I will say there's more people in this neighborhood that smoke cigarettes I guess it's a hipster thing I got this um, fucking thing some new fucking thing um, hazelnut oat milk Shaken espresso. I don't fucking know. They change their fucking drinks so often I don't even know what the fuck I want. That is way too sweet for me. I do not like sweet coffees, guys. I like my coffee like I like my women. Strong, bitter, and dark. 
that thing is light looking and sweet and cold. I also like my women hot. So hot, strong, bitter, and dark. That's how I like my women. If you would like to be one of my women, <laughs> those are your fucking rules. Figure out how to make that happen. Come on, you motherfucker. Dude, some of these streets are set up in a way that, like, you really have to, like, break your neck to be able to fucking get anywhere. Yeah, let's see. So, I have about an hour while um, the street sweeper could still come. But I would feel better finding a good parking spot. And maybe it's just because I'm not used to all of them, but the unhoused in this part of the neighborhood seem a lot more um, serious, a lot more... Uh, not necessarily scary, but more on edge than the homeless people in my neighborhood are. Um, and, and we're in my neighborhood now. That's how long it took to go. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. But it, it, it's probably just because I see the ones here all the time. Now, if you guys remember me talking about the chick in the maroon blanket, she was gone for a really long time, <clears throat> and she came back, and um, she's not wearing the blanket anymore, which is weird, because it's cold, but she looks like she's lost a lot of weight, like she looks a little healthier, and she's not yelling dumb shit, she's just meandering around, pacing back and forth. Try not to run over a pedestrian, but also try to dodge a lot of cars. This isn't looking good for Silver Spot. Damn it. Okay, so that is a parking spot if Silver Spot isn't there, so let's just check real quick. Can I get by you guys? Yay, Silver Spot is there. some reason you guys like watching me eat I have been told so oh, I almost spilled all this all over me maybe I did uh, sweet and sour sauce chicken strips it's really tasty I almost went and got a pedicure. If I'd been wearing flip-flops, I would have done it, I think. Maybe I'll give myself a pedicure here in a little bit. Do some self-care bullshit. Just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.